Welcome back to the channel guys, Donnie D back at you for another video today and today I'm going to be talking about curbless showers, the pros and the cons, at least from my experience and my opinion, what are the pros and the cons of a curbless shower? Stay tuned. Welcome back, Donnie D, back at you. So, you know, for curbless showers, I've done quite a few of them over the years and they're becoming more popular and you really can't go wrong with a curbless shower. I have a list here of pros and cons of what it's like to have a curbless shower. And maybe if you want one done, you know, what's what you can look for and things like that. So really, to sum it up quick, there's a lot more pros than there is cons for a curbless shower. So let's start off with the pros. Having a curbless shower means you have no curb. If you know, if you don't know what a curb is, it's, it's kind of the step that you have to walk into the shower. Typically, when you frame them out of two by fours and you tile them, the whole thing ends up being about six to seven inches high and about four and a half inches to five inches wide for the uh, the finish of it. So. Curbless shower means no curb, so you walk straight in. You don't have anything to step over. So it's really good for someone that's in a wheelchair, handicapped, you don't have to lift your legs. It's so easy to just walk in and walk out. Just imagine that. Don't have to lift your leg over a bathtub, a shower curb. You walk in, you walk out. So easy entry and exit of a shower, man. You just really can't beat it. What's another pro? Well. You can make it a curbless shower in any size bathroom. So let's say you got a small bathroom, five by five. You want to put a shower in there, curbless, great. You can put it in any size area. I mean, when you do walk-in showers and curbless showers, you can put them in a lot of, you know, a lot of different areas of a bathroom. It doesn't have to be a certain size for a bathtub or a shower pan. It's all custom work. So you can make it work. Really nice feature. What's another pro here? It makes the bathroom feel wide open. So what's great about a curbless shower, there's no curb there, you know, zero entry, like I said before. And you even have to put a shower curtain there, or, or if, if you don't want to, you don't even have to put a glass door there. So it's, it's a wide open concept feel. Um, another pro, it's really easy to clean. You get in there um, with a mop, whatever you're going to use to clean. Since you don't have to go over a curb, it's just clean the floor real quick, wipe down the walls. Really efficient space to clean and easy. And like I was saying before, you don't have to do a shower curtain and it's an option up to you if you want to do a glass door. You don't have to do a sliding door, you don't have to do a hinge door. You can have nothing there. So a really nice feature. Another pro here, if you're into the tile work, you're into the details, and you have a really good uh, tile contractor that has installer or, or the contractor installs themselves, I mean, let's say you do a good job, you got an amazing view with nothing blocking the view to see that, that amazing, lifelong, lasting tile work. I mean, who doesn't want to have a beautiful marble shower, stone shower? and be able to see that every day and not have a curtain or maybe a glass door that's tint or something like that kind of obstruct the view, you can see it absolutely clearly. Now the pro here of a, a curbless shower, really any walk-in custom shower is you can put heat, heat in the floor, in the shower floor, believe it or not, a heat of floor. You could put benches in there, niches. Niches are like cut out sections of the wall that's inside the wall like a cavity. You can do them any size you want, custom size. You can do shelves, benches, like I was saying. I mean, it's like endless the options you have when you have a walk-in or a curbless shower like we're talking about today. So really good. So far as the pros go, that's what I have written down. I'm sure you can think of a few. If you can, just write them in the comment section below. I'd love to know what other pros you, you know of having an amazing curbless shower. So now that we're through with that, we're going to talk about the cons. So what's the downside of having a curbless shower? So really, there's not many. One of the biggest downside con here of a curbless shower is once you get outside the shower, you know, wherever the glass door ends or let's say wherever the pitch of the shower floor ends, 
the water can come out there. And if the rest of the bathroom floor is off level or not flat, and the water gets outside, actually in you know bad case scenarios, it actually could roll around, come all the way, I've seen extreme cases, come all the way towards the bathroom door. That's a downside. When, when you have that, you could put a drain outside the shower, but when you do curbless showers, the prep work is, is, oh, is essential that it's done correctly. I'll go into detail in a second here. Another con here, downside, it's less privacy. So if you want a pri really private shower, a curbless shower will still work, but you're gonna wanna put some glass doors in there that have like a tint so you can't see it through. So that's up to you. Another kind of like I was saying, I'm gonna get into details a little bit, is that the waterproofing of a curbless shower in a bathroom is absolutely essential that it's done correctly. It's hard for me to explain how essential it is to have the waterproofing done correctly. So when you do a curbless shower, it's not just about the shower floor, it's about the whole entire bathroom floor, okay? So to keep it short, the whole bathroom floor outside the shower needs to be waterproof and it needs to be level and not pitched towards the, the you know, entranceway of the bathroom or away from the shower. You want it pitched a little bit in. Outside my showers, they need to be I try to pitch them if I can a little bit inside the shower, about a one eighth, about anywhere from one foot to two feet outside the shower. I'll pitch it in about an eighth if I can, if the tile work allows it. But essentially, you want it level and you want it flat. You don't want to pitch it away from the shower so the water does get out, which it can, you don't want to have that problem. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions at all, leave in the comment section below. I'll help you out the best I can.